All right, so we got the uh, shift actuator out. This is a little clutch. And uh, went ahead and ordered a part because I was pretty convinced it was bad, but I figured, oh, let's take it apart and see what is going on in here, see if we can actually find the real problem. It was just pretty clear it wasn't working, but it wasn't really clear why. And in the process of doing that, we uncovered why. So I'm taking this little cover off. I may just rip it off because we know it's broken. Um, so I can show you what's inside. So let's get this little one off here. Okay. So there is the cover off. I've got one more clip. There's a bunch of little clips on this thing to hold it in place. Okay, there's the cover gone. So this little cam thing sits or was sitting on top of the part like this. And when this little motor underneath spins, it actuates the shifter. So this is the shifter. This moves the clutch in and out of spin mode and then agitation. I'm not sure which is which, but it moves it back and forth. Um, and as it turns out, you can see right there, there is a little broken piece of plastic. And I assume there's a little knob or, or pin that sticks out of that and rides inside of that little groove right there. So when this uh, rotates, it moves that actuator back and forth and it can rotate around and around. So it just does, I assume this is just a gear that probably clocks at 180 degrees and then does 180 degrees again and just keeps doing that over and over again when it needs to shift gears. Um, and that piece of plastic is broken. So we're gonna plug this in and try to run the cycle and just see if the motor actually spins uh, because it seems to be a physical breakage, not a electronic issue or a, a problem with the motor itself. So I suspect we're going to see this spin 180 degrees, uh, but it won't do anything because there's no little pin to ride inside of the the little, um, it's like a, a canonical shaped gear there. So we'll check it out in just a minute.